Hello, VR racers. I think many of you face the same issue when you started racing in LMU VR is that the hood is very annoying. It's very close to the middle where you are seeing. Sometimes it even covers part of the car, like the rear view dash. So let me show you my tweaks how to make it look like this. In order to do this, we have to do two things. First, we have to edit the JSON files of the game that it can utilize the wide UI. In order to do that, you need to find the, the folder of the game. If you don't know where it is, the easiest way to find is go to Steam, Lehman's Ultimate, Manage, Browse Local Files. It pops up the folder. We have to go to user data, player, and look for the settings JSON file. I highly advise you to make a copy of it, just Ctrl C, Ctrl V, so we have a backup. Then you right click and open it with any kind of notepad. First, we need to look for wide, especially HUD ultra wide ratio. As you can see, it uh, states this had much, how much of screen with a wider aspect ratio than 16 by 9 will be filled by the hood horizontally. So basically, how much uh, of the wide screen uh, it stretches the HUD, well, not stretches, but scales it. Uh, and not just keep it in the middle. This can be useful for ultra wide players if they want to use it. But for the VR, we have to use 1.0. This will utilize the full ultra wide. Uh, also, make sure to have widescreen overlays true. I think this is true by default. And there's another tweak here which can be useful. It's just search for VR. And we are looking for VR hard depth. This is 0.5 by default. What this does is how far the hood is rendered from your view. Um, how it is done is it uh, adjusts the interpopulary scaling because uh, if you look closer, you have to uh, cross your eyes a bit. If you look further, your eyesight is parallel. Uh, if you increase it, it's less stressing to view like uh, view suddenly to the hud but it feels like it's very far away like in front of the car if you make it closer it's a bit more stressing to view at it but it feels like it's in the car like on the dash uh, play it around i found point four is still like it feels like it's around the wheel but um, it, it's not as annoying like having it in front of the car. Also, you can increase the VR menu depth uh, just to make it more comfortable. It feels like watching a, a movie theater, like far away big screen, instead of having a, a smaller screen but very close to you. So it's, it's like a bit uh, more uh, relaxing to watch with higher numbers. If you edited those, uh, Close it and save. The next thing we have to do is, unless you have a widescreen screen, we have to trick the game that we have right widescreen resolutions. This can be done multiple ways. Uh, I will show you the NVIDIA one and uh, like AMD, you can do it whatever with every kind of card. With the AM, uh, NVIDIA, the easiest way is just uh, go for the control panel, go to change resolution, select your main monitor, click customize, and create custom resolution. The lowest vertical we can go is 720. And uh, I'm going to show you 
what aspect ratios with what horizontal pixels look like in the game. So I will cut it now. If you decided which one you want, like 1920, which is 24 by 9, I think, uh, you type it in and just click test. This will make havoc of your desktop, don't worry. Even if you don't see anything, wait a bit when the, when the resolution comes back or a few seconds after, click left on your keyboard and press enter. If you did it right, right, it should appear here. Don't worry even if it's not supported by your monitor. It doesn't matter because we are not going to use it on the monitor. We are going to use it in a window. So if you did it right, it should appear here. If not, then you either have to wait less or more until you do that left uh, button plus enter. Uh, the other way to you do it is with custom resolution utility. CRU is a free program. You have to go to search for custom resolution utility, ToastyX, lovely program, uh, download a zip, and you have to extract it somewhere, start it up, uh, select your main monitor. This does the same as the NVIDIA. It basically just lies to the system what the EDID has and we after you selected your uh, main display in the detail resolution click add type in the resolution you want with the refresh rate you your monitor is the highest press ok press ok again and either restart your whole pc or try this restart 64 uh, this going to restart your uh, graphic driver uh, if you did everything right in the Windows Display Settings, you should see your custom resolution. If it's here, the game will think it's a legit resolution and it will let you select that. So let's go in game and let me show you how to do it. When you come into the game, you should go to the Settings menu go for graphics and this is where we're going to trick the system to wide UI. Uh, normally you are probably in a 16 by 9 and let's change it to 24 to 9 I think. Uh, usually I disable the mirror. Keep apply. This has a side effect of making the UI smaller and wide. You can counter it with increasing the menu scale. The wideness will remain, but it's not really affecting much of the game because the the sides are just extra graphics usually. So you want to go into session. And we have to tweak the hood size because as with the UI, it also makes the hood smaller. So you start driving, you can see it's a bit small and not far enough, still a bit annoying. So let's go to settings, graphics, and increase the hot scale like 0.4 for the 24 one, 0.2 for the 21 9, uh, 1.6 for the 28 9. And this will make the hood look like this, as I showed previously. 
So I wish you fun races. I hope it helps you as much as it helps me. And have a lovely day. See ya.